Hello, my name is Barbara, and I'm here to teach you why you should never ever visit Slovenia. Reason number one why you should never visit Slovenia. If you do not like trees, plants, bushes, or anything shrubbery related, you're gonna have a terrible time in here. Nearly 60% of Slovenia is covered in forests. In Europe, only Finland, Estonia, and Latvia have a higher percentage of trees than Slovenia, which means that everywhere you will look, there will be trees. So if your favorite color is green, One reason to never visit Slovenia is if you are absolutely in love with skyscrapers and you cannot live without them. The tallest Slovenian apartment building is 85 meters tall, which is 279 feet. The tallest hotel in Slovenia is 81.5 meters, which is 267 feet. Just to compare that to the tallest buildings in United States, which is One World Trade Center with 441 meters of height, which is 1,775 feet. Tallest building in Europe is 440 meters, which is 1,772 feet. And the tallest building in the world is in Dubai, and it has 828 meters of height, which is 2,717 feet. So compared to the tallest buildings in the world, our tallest building is somewhere here. Another reason why you should never visit Slovenia is if you don't like bees, you can leave now. One out of 200 people in Slovenia are beekeepers. That is a lot. We put a lot of emphasis on the fact that bees are super cool. We have a day of planting honey plants, which in 2022 took on March 26th. And that is when the beekeepers in Slovenia are encouraging people to plant honey plants that will attract bees. In some cities, they are even giving away free plants so you can put them on the balcony and attract bees. By planting plants that are super useful for bees, you give them their food source and environment for them to grow, multiply, and continue doing their awesome job in keeping these plants and trees alive that provide us with the source of oxygen that many people take for granted. So be kind to bees. Do not kill them, plant some plants, and stop being a jerk. What? The studio would like you to know that the last sentence was inserted by me, and it doesn't reflect this channel's vibe, uh, uh, mentality, and way of thinking. Another reason to never ever visit Slovenia is if you are a huge fan of boat parties such as this one or spring break on the lake where you just go wild and crazy and have the time of your life. You're gonna be super disappointed because Slovenia is very protective of its landscape. There are 2,260 protected areas in Slovenia, which is 40% of the country. So no wild raves and boat parties and super fun time on the lake will be happening in our country because two of the most popular lakes, which are Blade and Bahim, are not gonna allow you to go crazy and live your best life. You're gonna have to save that for the camp. But after you're done, you're gonna have to pick up trash after you. Otherwise, somebody will come at your tent and yell at you. If it looks like me, then it's probably me. Pick up trash after yourselves. You're not a child. Thank you. Reason number four why you should never visit Slovenia. If you wanna take a road trip down the coast, cruise on a highway by the beach, have some scenic views as you are driving down the road as if you are on a PCH, well, tough luck. The length of Slovenian coast is 26 kilometers. There are eight cities by the beach and the drive from the beginning to the end of Slovenian coast will take you about 45 minutes. So unless you stop for several hours after every five minutes, you can forget about multi-day trip along the coast of Slovenia. It is just the way it is. I don't make the rules. Another reason why you should never ever visit Slovenia is if you have spelunkophobia, which is a morbid fear of caves or caverns. <gasps> According to the data of 
Cave Association of Slovenia, there are currently 14,200 caves registered in Slovenia and around 500 new ones are discovered every year. The deepest cave in Slovenia is Čehi 2. I don't know where Čehi 1 went, but here we are. The depth is 1,505 meters. The length is 5,536 meters. And the longest are the Migovic system, total length of 37,162 meters. And the Pustonska Yama system, length is 24,120 meters. So if you have fear of caves, or you're maybe even possibly claustrophobic a little bit, Slovenia is not for you, unless you avoid those activities. In which case, Slovenia might be for you, but at the end of the day, it's up to you to decide. Who am I to judge? I should stop talking. Another reason to never visit Slovenia is if you are coming to Slovenia and try to learn Slovenian by traveling around the country, because we have 46 dialects and there's only 2 million of us. That way, even if you do master the basics of Slovenian, which you probably won't because it's a super complicated language that not even native people can properly speak on most occasions, you will be surprised that Žnura and Vrum mean the same thing. Falajček and Kos also mean the same thing. Piron and Vilica also both mean the same thing. So to people learning Slovenian, best of luck to everybody you will cry a lot. Another reason to not visit Slovenia is if you have thalassophobia, which is the persistent and intense fear of deep bodies of water, such as the sea, oceans, pools, and lakes. Slovenia has a lot of lakes. It has 300 lakes. The deepest one being 87 meters, which is 285 feet. Popular Lake Blade is 35 meters deep, which is 115 feet. And another popular lake, which is Bachin Lake, is 45 meters deep, which is 148 feet deep. Obviously, that cannot compare to the deepest US lake, which is Crater Lake, and it's 592 meters deep, which is 1,943 feet deep. Crater Lake is also one of the deepest lakes in the world. But if you do have thalasso thalassophobia, then Slovenia might not be an ideal location for you. Just saying. Reason number eight why you should never visit Slovenia. If you have an intense fear of heights, some of the most popular activities might not be for you. For example, we have the second highest ski jump in the world. We used to be first. Our ski jump is 252 meters high, which is 827 feet. Now the highest one is 253 meters, which is 830 feet. Another popular activity is zip line. They are anywhere between 500 to 700 meters long, and they can go as high as 210 meters above ground. Slovenia is also home to some pretty high mountains. Nothing to write home about if you are from other parts of the world, but to us, they mean a lot. Highest one being Triglau, 2,864 meters. There's also Mangart and many others. If you are intimidated by tall people, you will hate it in Slovenia. Slovenia is number nine on the tallest nations in the world list. First one being the Netherlands, then Montenegro, Denmark, Norway, Serbia, Germany, Croatia, the Czech Republic, there we are, Slovenia, and Luxembourg. If you are scared of white horses, you should run away from Slovenia. We are known for them. They have been founded in 1580 and they are horses with a lively temperament, easy to learn, suitable for performing classical dressage elements, and also for all forms of equestrian activity under saddle and in harness. The breed is fertile, long-lived, and uses feet very well. They are also very cute. 
this is it for today's video. Thank you everybody for watching. If you would like to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun making this video and I hope I made you laugh or at least smile. If not, then I don't care. Please give this video a thumbs up and follow me on Patreon and Coffee and give me money so I can pay rent. Thank you. Bye.